you. Right. <laughs> One eternity later. I think that's all. Hi. Thank you. What? Ho oh, ho! Oh. <sighs> <sighs> oh, oh. Everything turned out okay. <sighs>
shall grant one wish, anything that is within my power. State your wish. I won't let you!
Uh, um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself, too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. If you can get Vegeta to train you, you'll probably get where you want to be. <gasps> Alright, better find Vegeta so I can ask for his help. What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger, so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Huh? But I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. Powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. 
I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I... I need to do some serious soul-searching. I... I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. Greetings! <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs> Greetings! Yes! Hmm, let's see. What do you think? Thank you so much! Right! Excuse me. What? <sighs> hey. Huh? Yes. Hey. Let's see. What? Sure. Right. Yes. Um, how is that sound? <laughs> what? Oh, ho, ho. You. Very well. Hmm. What? Indeed. Greetings. Yes. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Thank you so much. Hello.
Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. What do you think? Huh? Uh. What? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> no. Huh? I need to start working hard, too. Um... What is it? No! <laughs> well? Yes. Yes. Two thousand years later. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Losing the wild hair. Fine. I'll tone it down. Around the house. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. Okay, okay. I'll limit it to my training. School, huh? <laughs> That'll be something. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. The people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. However, during times of peace, people have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. Such is the fate of mankind.
About seven years had passed since the confrontation with Cell. This is the quiet settlement of Satan City. Here resides Mr. Satan, the man mistakenly believed to have saved the planet. The city was renamed after him for his heroism. Gohan is now 16 years old. With no schools anywhere near his country home, he had no choice but to do homeschooling and correspondence courses. But eventually, his mother, Chi-Chi, decided to send him to a high school in Satan City. Armed bandits began appearing so frequently in Satan City that Gohan began to run into them on his way to school from time to time. To combat the crime in the city, Gohan would transform into a Super Saiyan and make short work of those that disturb the peace. To protect his identity, Gohan made sure to leave the scene as quickly as possible. The mysterious hero came to be known as the Golden Fighter, and rumors quickly spread about his true identity. The Golden Fighter again, huh? Who the heck is this guy? From Super Saiyan to Superhero. That took way too long. I need to hurry. Oh man, I'm gonna be late. I have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> 